Hi there and welcome to Arduino Project 7, the keyboard instrument. In this project we're going to be creating a, well we're going to be using the buzzer once again, um, but hopefully it's not going to make such a racket this time as it did with Project 6. Um, we're going to be creating it with a number of buttons, we're going to get a series of small push buttons here, and we're going to wire them up so that when we press each individual push button, the buzzer actually makes a different sound. So, let's get cracking on with the circuit. We're going to hook up the buzzer in a very similar manner that we did before. Uh, maybe a little bit higher this time, so we'll, uh, because we need more space down below. So, let's hook it up to three to seven. Three and seven, yep. Yeah. And we're going to hook up number three, port three to the negative, um, to the ground. So we'll just hook that up there like so and port 7 is going to be hooked up to um, digital output 8 once again. So we'll do exactly the same as before on that one. So then we'll go to digital output 8. Uh, so that's that, that's the buzzer all sorted. We'll connect the power while we're here as well. So ground and power in as usual. Power in the plus, ground in the minus. And then we'll twist it around a little bit so it gets out of the way. and ground in the minus, power in the plus, that's 5 volts again, double check on the paper, yes we are still using 5 volts. So that's the buzzer actually sorted. Now the next thing we're going to do is create, uh, is we're going to plug in our switches. So uh, where should we start these according to the map? So on number 14, port 14, we'll plug in all four switches. So 14 goes there, and then we go from 18 to 20, and then 22 to 24 and finally 26 to 28. So that's all four of our switches so the idea is at the end of this when we press each individual switch the buzzer should make a different sound. Uh, the next step is we want to connect the top switch up to the positive so we'll connect port 14 there to the positive or column uh, row 14 and then we're going to make a small arrangement of resistors uh, which I believe is called a resistor ladder and what we're going to do is connect the first resistor which is a 220 ohm resistor uh, to the second switch so we're going to connect that from 18 and this is going to go to the uh, power for each of the switches so 18 is there like so and then we're going to do a 10 kilo ohm resistor which is going to go to the power of the uh, next switch. So we'll connect that there, like so. And then we will do a one mega ohm resistor. That's a brown, black, green resistor. And connect that to row 26 and to power. And then we'll finish off by connecting the end of the final set of resistors across to the negative. Now the only thing outstanding after that is to actually put a um, create this small ladder between each one of the resistors. So we're going to go from uh, the first switch to the end of the second switch, or the end of the first switch to the end of the second switch, which is like so. Plug that in there. And then we're going to go from the end of the second switch down to the end of the third switch like so and then the end of the third switch down to the end of the fourth switch as well like so and then that is everything that we need to do apart from our analog in uh, which we will connect to A0 once again and we'll connect that between row 28 here underneath that resistor and bring it back round to connect to analog zero here. If the wire will go in, there we go. Fantastic, so that's our circuit all completed. So the switches are all connected to each other uh, and then they're all connected to the ground and they're all connected to different resistors so that'll give us our different level of current uh, to actually put the output into the buzzer up there. So let's swap over to the code again and uh, hopefully make this thing work. Okay, so here we are in the code then, uh, so let's get cracking with this thing.
Okay, so that's the code completed. So let's just scroll back up. So what we're doing is we're setting up a small array here with four different notes in. Apparently, according to the book, these are C, D, E, and F. Um, so it's 262 hertz, 294 hertz, 330 hertz, and 349 hertz. So hopefully they'll actually play those correct tones. Um, time will tell. Then what we're doing in the loop is we're basically bringing in the analog read from analog zero into the key val, uh, printing out the key val to see what's actually coming in. So uh, if we need to use the actual output, um, the, the serial outputs, then we can to figure out what's going on. Uh, then we're saying if the key val is equal to 1023, then the tone is going to be, um, the tone for port eight is going to be whatever's in note zero, which was 262, which was the C, I believe. Uh, just checking, yep, C. Uh, then if it's not that, then if it's between 990 and 1010, it's going to be D and so on. So hopefully when we upload this, it should actually make a little bit of a difference. So we'll try this. Oh, there's no compiling. So what if I actually broken now? Um, expected semicolon before a close bracket. So where have I missed a semicolon there? Uh, it's not there. It's not there. So let's have a very quick look around. Ah, I forgot to close off my, uh, my if statements here. So let's just do that and re-upload compiling sketch, fantastic. So that's actually gone to the Arduino now. So hopefully, I'll swip over to the camera again and we'll see if this works. Okay, so here we are, we're back with the Arduino itself just up after the upload, so let's see if these buttons actually make a sound. Very good, so these are all connected now, the code is uploaded and we've actually created ourselves a little keyboard. Awesome. Thank you very much for watching, until next time, bye bye now.